How's it going, champs? We're back playing Tiny Town. We've got loads of stuff to build today. I just found this little scene here that I can't quite remember what it was even about. Let me know in the comments if you actually remember. There's a guy here having a staring competition with a crab. <laughs> it makes no sense. There's a dude holding a pizza. A guy who looks like he's probably pushing an invisible shopping trolley. So in the last video, I asked you guys what we're going to delete in this giant tiny town of ours. And I said you could pick anything from the whole world. You guys picked a variety of stuff, but the most votes I got was for Fire Siren Head. So sorry champ, you're actually going. Yep, we're getting rid of this guy. I know some of you guys are gonna be sad to see him go. He's actually a pretty cool creation, but we're gonna delete him anyway. I'm gonna start at his legs. I might leave some of the fire behind though, you know what I mean? Like people will still remember who he was. I haven't erased him from existence like Spider-Man. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'll delete his body. He's just a flaming arm now. He kind of looks like a flaming Cheeto, doesn't he? Which, you know, I've actually never eaten a flaming Cheeto, but I reckon they'd be super hot. Okay, how's that look? That looks pretty good. We're looking pretty good. What do you reckon, Mega Siren Head? He's pretty happy with himself, screaming at my face. Okay, now I want you guys to pick what we're gonna delete next. Giant Spidey UFO. Some of you don't seem to like this guy very much. Or Huggy Zilla. I know a lot of people hated Huggy Zilla. Not because he was a bad build, but because he was too terrifying. <laughs> All right, Huggy Zilla. Spider UFO thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's too weird. Okay, we got some building to do. So, I got some requests. This is just for a small build to build a Pikachu doing some stuff. I'm actually building down here. Like, Pikachu lives in like a trailer, you know what I mean? Now, I need to get my custom Pikachus. Ah, there he is. So, the request was a giant Pikachu eating fries, but instead of fries, it's humans. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Um, I guess, I guess he's pretty big. He's just this big chonker. Let's put him right here. He's quite massive. He looks like he's just smashed a bunch of burritos or something. We're also going to be building another video game character. You guys guessed the last one really easy. So I'm pretty, I don't know. I think this one's going to be a tough one. I think I might be able to stump you guys with this next one. Um, so I need to make some fries. Hang on a second. I'm going to try and make an actual, you know, like McDonald's fries looking packet. Here we go. Nice. There, that looks like fries. I'm talking about the red box. I'm not talking about a big red fry shaped like a cone. That's weird. So instead of fries, it's people. This is a very weird request. You guys always come up with some really strange stuff to build, all right? So if you have anything else strange that you want me to build, let me know. Just stick it in the comments. Okay, so we need some good humans. Ones that look like they would be fries. That is very fry colored. Okay, let's put their arms up. Like this. They're trying to be straight. There you go. You are a fry. Do your best to look like one, please. This guy can be a fry as well. Put your arms up. They kind of look like they're going down a water slide. <laughs> yeah, good one, champs. Just need a little bit of ketchup on there or something. Oh, let's get, let's get the famous old lady. She loves being eaten. All right. <laughs> there we go. There you go, old lady, get in the fry box. So it's been about, oh, it's gotta be almost a month since I last played Tiny Town. I kind of forgot what we were building. Then I had to go have a look and it was, I, I noticed we've got Big Snack Island over there. So we're gonna go build some Big Snacks today. There we go, put them in there. Oh yeah, you guys are really good fries. Now we need some in his mouth. There we go, champ. Go ahead and get in Pikachu's mouth. He kind of looks like he's sort of half chewing on him a little bit. <laughs> There we go. That's pretty good. Giant Pikachu eating fries, but instead of fries, it's humans. And we've got a bit of an M on there as well. It's not yellow, but it's the best I could do, okay? That guy's looking pretty good. High five. So if you've been watching my bug snack series, you'll notice that I've been playing some modded games now. So we've got few mods coming out for bug snacks, which is awesome. One of which is a head crab. So I want to add a head crab in here. I know I've got one. Head crabs are creepy, man. So creepy. Grab hold of your head. And they just, they crab. There we go. Cool. So we've got Chandlow over here. I'm going to transform Chandlow into the head crab bug snack. There we go. Got to put that on his head. And we've got to do his body. Which is sort of like this. There we go. Chandlow, you've got a, you've got a giant head crab just latching onto your chest there. 
That is so nasty. All right, and then we'll get this on his arms. I noticed I actually haven't made many of these Bug Snacks characters. Like we haven't done Floofty or Wambus or anything like that. I thought we would actually do some characters today in Bug Snack form. Like they've mutated, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Let me know in the comments if you do actually watch my Bug Snack series. I know some of you guys, you know, they only watch Tiny Town or you're only watching like Slime Rancher or something like that, which is fair enough. It's just, yeah, I'm curious. There we go. All right, let's put a couple of them in the trees as well. Just climb in the trees. <laughs> I love how Snorpy is more concerned about the celly sticks behind Chandlow than the actual bug snacks he's covered in, or the headcrabs. Okay, so this is the video game character that I made on the last video. Some of you guys guessed it. Some of you thought it was a Fortnite character. I haven't played Fortnite in a couple of years, so I don't know, man. I don't know. Definitely has a Fortnite gun, though. Got the tack shoddy. Let's go ahead and just delete this, and I'll tell you what it was. It was Octoling from Splatoon. A lot of you actually guessed it. Well done, I'm super proud of you. And I'm sure your parents are proud of you as well. Alrighty, let's build another one. This next one, I'm actually gonna build in the forest over here. Let's just go down. Now this location should give you a bit of a clue as to what this is. Maybe I'm just trying to trick you. So we need a blue sphere. Wait until you see what this thing looks like. I hope I can do it right. That's probably as close to the right color as I can get. Oh, actually, hang on. No, 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 that's right. It's more of a purple color. I'm not gonna add too many details. I know I promise that sometimes, you know, I'm not gonna add too many details and then I basically make the thing look identical to what it is. Not today. Okay, then I'm gonna kinda go like this. Uh, I'm gonna add these shapes here like that. Actually, that looks a bit better. Oh, this next part's really hard to build. Shrink that down a bit. There. I'm actually really curious to see how many people are gonna get this one. This character is quite, quite popular, but also a little bit obscure. So, I don't know, maybe you'll guess it, maybe you won't. Oh, this one's actually super hard to build. It's all right, I'm gonna try. Oh man, how do I do this? Okay, this is sort of looking like it's supposed to. Um, the shape's a little off at the moment. Might need some spheres, or could probably use this. Now there's one more little detail that I need to add in that should probably make it fairly easy to guess if you've ever seen this thing before. All right, there we go. I'm leaving it. No, 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 hang on. I'm gonna add one more thing. Just adding one more thing. A kangaroo. There we go. The kangaroo should give it away. I'm just kidding. <laughs> kangaroo doesn't go there. I need a sword. Let's add the sword in his hand. That's it. That's all the clues you're getting. Let me know in the comments if you know this video game character, what game they're from, or what games they've been in, because they've been in quite a few. A couple of crossovers, I might say. Okay, back over to Big Tooth. <laughs> Is that the name of the island? So in the last video, we built this dragon made out of Doritos. You guys come up with some great names for it. Dragorita was probably the best name. I think that's a perfect name for a Dorito dragon. I'm gonna, oh, there's Floofty down here. Hey, champ. I'm gonna go ahead and transform Floofty into a bit of a bug snake. So let's get maybe just a variety of, you know, things, maybe like a banana. What else do we have here? Piece of cake is a good one. Let's go the blue cake. And we got some soda cans. <laughs> hot dog. I kind of feel like making a hot dog Befica. Just like the one of the very first bug snacks videos I did. All right, he's gonna have a cake arm. Cool thing about Floofty is that they grew their arm back, uh, you know, mutating into a bug snack. Bananas for arms. <laughs> cool. Let's give him like a cookie face. <laughs> That's pretty good. And like maybe a soda body. Oh, that's kind of hard to do. Doesn't quite cover up the body that much. And we'll give him paddle pop ears. There you go. What's the name of the bug snack that's made out of like paddle pops? Palatos or something they're called. Just such a disgusting mix of like... F <laughs> this is the final boss of bug snacks. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's get some eyes on here. Um just to make them still look like they're an actual monster. Yeah, cool. Are you ready for the hot dog transformation? Let's go. Oh, maybe down in the cave. Yeah, cool. Secret cave world. You found my secret door that no one knows what's actually in there. It's a secret, man. Could be anything. Could be my video game dungeon. That's where I hide all my video games. Prepare to become a hot dog. Here we go, hot dog arms. Got a little bit of mustard on your arm there. Yeah, hot dog legs. Hot dog legs was my nickname in high school. Big old hot dog like this. That's actually really hard to pull off. How do you do that? 
the, the actual like sausage part goes right up there into a face. <laughs> I'm trying my best. This is actually quite hard. Oh, I just ripped her arm off. Okay, you can wear the hot dog like a hat. All right, nice. Put some eyes on there. And bang. <laughs> yes, you have been snackified into a hot dog person. <laughs> That's what you get for being an annoying character. All right, I'm going to grab this chili. Whoa, this one's actually pretty big. Okay, so I'm going to put this one like sort of right there, I think. I think that's a good spot. I'm gonna build another bug snack or a big snack, I guess. Let's go ahead and sort of put that there. We've got the cold Millie Mochi, right? And I'm gonna get this, uh, this guy right here to kind of make a bit of a chili like centipede, like a chili pea. You know what I mean? This thing's gonna look like that Pokemon. The, what's he called? Center Scorch. Yeah, gonna look a bit like that. Hey, that actually looks pretty awesome. I kind of want to make it look like he's breathing fire, though. Down towards the Millie Mochi. Alright. Nice. Nice. Not looking bad. Not looking bad. Now we need to give him some legs. So, he's obviously a centipede. So he's gonna have lots of legs. Alright, I guess I'll just create, like, a bunch of them. And then just apply them all. Oh, man. So many legs. They're looking kind of awesome, though. Whoa, this thing's creepy looking. There's something about insects with lots of legs. It's just mega creepy. Let's make some of these ones bigger. Yeah, nice. Definitely has like a weird sort of Pokemon look, doesn't it? But then again, so does Bug Snacks in general. Kind of wish in Bug Snacks you could catch the Bug Snacks and make them battle. <laughs> I'm gonna give him like bigger legs down here. Kind of like he's got bigger. Just a couple of bigger legs that he uses to sort of power run. Yeah, nice. That's looking pretty good. Dude, that thing looks crazy creepy. There we go. Shrink him down a little bit more again. It's coming up towards the head. How many legs does a centipede have? Do they actually have a hundred? Or is it one of those things where someone found it and they're like, Whoa, that thing's got a hundred legs. I'm going to call it a centipede. When it's, it's got like, you know... 40 legs or something. Is it a myth is what I'm trying to say. Puts them on the other side as well. Chilipede. What a cool name. All right, spin that around. Start building the other side as well. Here's the part where I have to try and make it look symmetrical. Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool looking. I like this one. I kind of wish this was actually a bug snack now. Put this one here like that. Like it's a little bit of a stinger. There we go. We might even like put it on fire perhaps. That'll look pretty awesome. How's our chilipede looking? Not bad. Try and turn the world around. There we go. Turn the world around. Cool. We've got a chili here that we don't need. Let's throw that one away. All right. Now we need to give this thing eyes. Otherwise, it's not a real bug snack. Okay. So I'm going to give it green eyes. Uh, I'm going to put um probably a little bit more like there. Cool. <laughs> it's got a bit of a derpy look about it. That's all right. Oh, what if they're out here like this? Whoa, that thing looks weird. It's got weird, like, articulating eyes that can just, like, see all over the place. How do we give this thing a fire-breathing mouth? All right, hang on. Let's get some fire for its tail. Do we use this fire that kind of looks a little bit like a blast? Nope. But that could come out of his mouth like this. That's pretty good. Yep, shooting fire at the Millie Mochi. He's about to get smashed in the face. Put some fire there. Also, put some fire just on his back. You know what I mean? Like, he's kind of just burning. He's so hot. Yeah, that's awesome. What if I was to try and use this as, like, a mouth part? Hang on a second. Like, if we went sort of like that. Like, a bit of a floating mouth situation. <laughs> that's just crazy. So crazy. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. It sort of works, you know, sort of. Okay, and there we have it. We have the Millie Mochi, obviously cold, right? About to get blasted by fire by the Chili Peed. What's going to happen? Is his face just going to fly off? <laughs> Is he going to melt? I've got no idea. Let me know in the comments what you think should happen next. But thank you very much for watching this video. Catch you guys next time.